Hey, Cole. Good morning. Nice new background. Huh. New background, new shirt, Roxanne. That's not Roxanne. <laughs> I, I know I'm pretty true. sure it's Ariel. Yeah, I think I'd have oh. to go look. You you would think I had time overnight. Notice, look, I got a haircut, so this really is a new day. I and cut you my got a haircut off. too. Look, you have cut no hair. Off. Cut it off. That would be nice. Ooh, look at that. It looked like it came off because it got lost. Oh, that's true. I could it got lot. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> <it's gone. laughs> uh, um what are we gonna talk about today? Well, I thought I asked you a question that you and I have pondered before, and that is how do you define success in a photograph? I mean, you know, <laughs> obviously I'm a hugely successful human being, unlike yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> but but if we're just not talking about that and we're talking about photographs, images is a better word, how do you define a successful uh, image for you? Well, first let's talk about success in the bigger terms. Gosh, you just we can't do things easily, to... can you? You just always have to like, okay, go ahead. We all want to be successful. But I find that very few of us stop and ask, what does that mean? Mm -hmm. I mean, when we were kids or beginning photographers, we thought success probably meant uh, being famous, well-known, being in a big name gallery, selling our okay. prints for high prices, a book. That was the epitome. Uh, or being in lens work. There were just, yeah. it was, a, it didn't even need to be spoken. That's what success meant. But then as I started to get some of those things, I realized that they didn't bring satisfaction. They were nice at the moment, but they really didn't bring lasting satisfaction. Yeah. So I decided to define success for myself. And my de definition was really simple. Being able to do what I wanted, when I wanted, and create images that I loved. Yeah. And so for me, when I create something that I really love, regardless of who else likes it, I'm successful. Yeah. It takes so I encourage time. people to define it for themselves. Yeah. Yeah. And to me, this always kind of circles back to, I got blasted one time for probably being a little too opinionated about competitions <laughs> you know and uh and so i had to kind of write not a retraction but a second one saying look if that's how you like to operate if that's what brings you joy and happiness i'm not suggesting that you shouldn't do that i never used the word should or shouldn't in that dialogue i just simply said i postulated that if you want to get to a different place with your photography in maybe more of an art that you might stop worrying about that and focus on making photographs, as I like to say, that make your heart sing. And so it is easy to, couple thoughts, it is easy to get down that rabbit hole of success being all those things you mentioned before. Like I really wanna get in lens work still. I mean, that's still a goal of mine and I actually finally have a body of work that I'm just about ready to submit. Um, but ultimately that I, with you, it'll feel good for a minute. You know, if that happens, but it, it's not going to change the way I photograph moving forward. In other words, I'm not going to try to get another body of work that works for, for Brooks. I'm going to make them for me. And if Brooks likes them. So let me ask you this. Have you ever had a submission? And I think we might have talked about this briefly, but maybe a little more in depth in this conversation. Have you submitted to lens work, a body of work that one of two things that you knew maybe Brooks wouldn't like, but you submitted it anyways, or that you submitted and it wasn't accepted? Well, I never try to think what would Brooks like. Yeah, I just don't think that way. I used to. I, I remember when I used to submit to a lot of competitions and I got to where I could get into about two thirds of what I submitted and I had a little formula. I would research the person. I would see what kind of images wow. they liked. I would submit multiple portfolios and I would make sure they were diverse. Like if the person was into nature, I wouldn't set, submit three nature ones. I would just submit a diverse body, uh, several different diverse portfolios. And I got really good at it. And, and then I thought, oh my gosh, what am I doing? I'm trying to submit what they would love. Right. I used to even 
survey people and say, of these images, which do you like the best that I could wow. submit the ones that I thought would be the most popular. And then I remember thinking once, I'm, I'm imagining that I'm laying on my deathbed. I know that the end is near. What am I going to be proud of? Yeah. You know, what am I going to leave behind? Family, relationships, and hopefully images that I love, not images that I was able to discern that others would love. Yeah. So I think it's really important. And, you know, you brought up something when you talked about people who like to submit to contests. We've met people who just, yep. that's their thing. And I think that would be a good topic for another discussion. What type of photographer are you? There's many types. Let's save that one for another. Yeah, I agree. So back to the other question, um, you know, have you submitted then to lens? Well, let's, let's kind of use lens work specifically here and, and not been accepted. Many. <laughs> many interesting many. I think, news of nude the uh ukrainians uh oh, that eyes shut with eyes shut uh i just did another one recently uh that it was rejected um yeah. i forget which one but yeah all the time and and i you learn not to take it personally yeah. because he has a formula and he has his personal tastes and they may not have met either of those needs and yeah so, so then circling back to what we're talking about, that didn't, you didn't then say, hey, I'm going to throw that body of work away because Brooks Jensen didn't like it. No, yeah. no, I just, no, yeah. if you love it, then it isn't important who else does or does not love it. It's icing on the cake. I mean, back to your original comments. I mean, it is nice. I mean, we're human beings and it is a fun feeling and a good feeling when someone likes our work. But I'm with you, Cole. That's not why I do it. I, you know, it, what a question, another question we should probably talk about is why do you photograph in another? And mm. so I'm not going to give you my answer to that. We'll say that's that. That's a good one. And anyway, back to the that, thing on the top, I, I like to call the pup when you get your image published or you win or something, that's the cherry on top. That's not the prize. The prize is creating something that you love, yeah. but then the cherry on top is when others appreciate it also. Absolutely. And a lot of people say, well, why do you even show your work if you don't care what others think? And I say, well, it's because I create it for myself, but it is nice to meet people who have the same aesthetics and the same tastes and the same appreciation of certain images. Sure. That's nice. It is nice. It is a good feeling. Yeah, you also have other people who say, why do you expect people to look at your images when you practice photo celibacy? But that's another. Yeah, story. that's a, that, would, that would be a great topic. That would be. I think topic. we have three new discussions for the next week when we meet together a couple times coming up here. I think the next one we should look at your portfolio that you're going to submit to Lenswork, and we should all vote <laughs> on if you one if you should even submit it. And two, which images you should just toss out because they're losers. I'm too afraid to do that because I'm afraid the 54 images would be reduced under the 20 required. And then I'd have no nothing to, to submit. Um, that, well, we that's might lose some viewers too. We don't want to do anything that will upset our viewers. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to do that. We've already lost 80 in the last two days. Yeah, that Roxanne and Ariel. Those two are on my list now. <laughs> All right. We'll talk soon. Good to see okay. you, buddy. Bye.